So here's the big question. What is love? And I'm not talking about the song that you hear. It's like, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what is actually love? What is real love? Is it the kind of relationship you have where you invite your girl over for uh, some Netflix and chill? Otherwise known as inviting a lady over and saying, hey, we're going to watch this on Netflix and then we're going to end up screwing each other. No, that's not what love is. <sighs> lies. All lies. Everything society tells you today about love is a lie. It's not this mutualistic relationship. Even though most, even though love does ha happen to have some sort of mutualistic thing to it, it's not this idea that um, both of you do some sort of action, you both benefit from it. So this whole Netflix and chill thing where you invite the girl over, she enjoys watching the show, and in return she ends up screwing you, literally like screwing you, having sex with you. No, that's not love at all. That ain't shit. Love, actual love, real love, is willing to put your life on the line to risk your life for others. And I'm not talking like, I'm not talking like, you're, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I would, I would die for her. So that obviously means I love her. No, like literally, if it came down to picking between who would die, you or her, it's picking yourself to take the bullet instead of her. It's standing up for those you care about. That's what love is. This whole... Oh my gosh, she loves me so much. I'm just so amazed right now. No, that's that's not love. That's that's literally just fake. You know, the idea where you send you send a girl a text after you've only known her for like two weeks and say, "Oh, I love you so much," and she texts you back and says, "Oh, I love you so much." Emoji, emoji, emoji. <sighs> So you're willing to say that after two weeks of knowing this girl, you're willing to die for her? Literally take the bullet? Okay, let's see you put in a situation like that. Love doesn't always mean some sort of relationship like a boy and a girl. Like It could be something like taking a bullet for your, for your troops, you know? Your combat buddies in war. It could, be, it could be willing to spend time with loved ones in your family who you may not have much time left to hang out with. That's what love is. It's willing to put others before you. Another thing that's wrong with a society today in the way of love is because they is because people today in society are very accepted of the idea of homosexuality, but they really don't know that most of these people are not gay from the start. Nobody's born gay. It's literally their environment that shapes who they are. It's people who tried so hard as a kid and were too shy to get a girlfriend that they just said fuck it and then because it became so accepted in society they end up switching sides. It's those people who never got a chance because they were not willing to go the extra step. They were worried that they were going to get criticized and they were going to get ridiculed, so they decided, I'm done with girls and I'm switching and moving on. No. Those people only switched sides because they were not brave enough to take the extra step and go further. I guarantee you, most of the people today that are gay, lesbian, or whatever, were not capable of going the extra step. And society tries to push the fact that people inside feel gay or lesbian deep down. But no, no. It's only because they tell you that. They try to make you feel that way when in actuality, you're not. You're straight. It's not a freaking genetic thing that you're born like that at birth. It's something that happens over time. Because people tell you who to be. And you don't just stay true to who you are. So for God's sakes, if you see a girl, don't just be like, don't just, don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm never going to be as good as her. I might as well just 
make use of what I got and just hang out with my friends all the time. No, get off your ass, walk up to her and talk to her. The worst, the worst that can happen is she'll just say no and leave me alone. But just talk to her. You don't have to hit it off immediately. Get to know who you're talking to. If you see a cute girl walking down, uh, walking down a sidewalk that you've never met before in your life, have the balls to stand up and walk over to her and just talk to her. And if she says, leave me alone, then just back off. You don't have to press it any further after that. Just move on to the next person. But don't just, don't be that son of a bitch who just stands up and says, hey, you wanna have sex? And just say that right in front of her face. Cause then, that's just disrespectful, you know? You gotta be respectful to the ladies as well. Show some, show some chivalry, you know? Hold the door open for a woman. It could be simple acts of kindness like, kindness like that. You could smile at someone if they, you could smile at a girl if they smile back at you. Just do, just do nice stuff for a girl. If someone, if some jerk, some asshole accidentally bumps into her and spills her papers on the ground, are you just going to look at it and keep walking by? No. Take that opportunity to help. Don't do it just because you want to, just because you want to meet her and possibly get a chance to marry her someday. No. You do it because it's the goodness of your heart. You're going to pick up those papers for her and tell her and tell her that and tell her that you really and you tell her that you ask her if she's okay you don't just say you don't just say oh you want to you want to sex now I mean I helped you out no that's not how it works so stop being who society tells you to be be who you actually are don't be this image of somebody that can't get a girl and then oh all of a sudden I guess I'm gay no that's not that's not even real it's it's fake the whole Netflix and chill thing that's fake that's not real love love is being willing to die for those who you care about so much think about it 